Hey guys, this is Michelle with Mr. and Mrs. Walker's Designs. I just wanted to pop on here for hopefully a short video and show you uh, a couple of hauls that um, I brought home past couple of days from basically two different places. And also, if, if it doesn't get too long, then I'll show you maybe some things that I've been working on. Um, so, I went to Hobby Lobby on... Thursday, I believe. <laughs> Thursday, went to Hobby Lobby because I've been seeing all these hauls of people saying don't walk, run to Hobby Lobby to get these clearance items. So I just couldn't stand it any longer and decided to go and see what I could find for myself. So I do have a haul from there. And then we have a store um, just across the river. It's called Quick Discounts. It's a, they call themselves a scratch and dent below retail store. Um, some things are scratch and dent. They do like Amazon returns and Walmart returns and stuff like that. But they usually have a really good selection of office supplies. So I did kind of hit the jackpot with them yesterday and I'll show you what I got from there as well. So let's start with Hobby Lobby. It's right here in front of me. Um, I did go ahead and get a couple of these paper rolls. Um, I took the, I think they're one and a half inches by like 50 feet or something like that and went ahead i'm sorry took the packaging off they were 99 cents each so i went ahead and got a couple of those i thought those would be really cute to use in journals for like you know decorating the pages and such so there's those um i did get some project life cards for 62 cents 18 of them i don't have any project life cards believe it or not uh, since i'm relatively new to paper crafting so i got some of those and this is an example of what this one contains um, it is called let's go on an adventure it's right there let's go on an adventure and they're three by four bohemian adventure so if you're familiar with project life then you know project life then you know you know kind of what you get I thought these would be really cute to take into pockets and journals that I make um, for my consign consignment booth. So there's that. Um, I also picked up the package of these um, mixed media clothespins, antique. They're quarter inch by 1.875 inches, and there's 20 pieces of them. So I picked up a package of those. And I'm going to use those in a home decor project, and I, I might come on and do a video about that. I'm not sure. Then I picked up a Paper Studio um, four and a half by six and a half paper pad, 20 designs for each of each design, 80 sheets total, premium cardstock, originally $8.99, reduced down to $2.24. And it's called the Home Collection. And these are just some really pretty um, patterns that I think would make really nice backgrounds for matting um, photos or images for journaling cards and such. So I got, oh, I love this one. This one's really cool. So I got that. Um, picked up, now this wasn't clearance, but it's the, um, it's a roll of, let's see how wide it is, 2.25 inches, two, two and a quarter inches, um, chicken wire. So I have this, and this is part of the home decor project that I am going to do. So this was half off though, so instead of $3.99, I got it for half that, so almost two bucks. Okay, so there's that. Then they had this, um, I, don't, I can't remember, I think I have some Momenta stamps, but I've never bought their cardstock before. So originally it was $14.99, reduced down to $3.75. Three each of 16 designs, it's eight and a half by 11. But it's marble design, and 
even though I kind of have toyed around with the idea of doing marbling, I just don't think I'm going to dive into that endeavor. So the tea staining and all that is enough for me. So um, I picked this up. I think these would, this would make beautiful end papers or even covers with something on top of it. So there's all colors in here. Green, blue, turquoise, like a sagey green, an emerald green, yellow gray, orange yellow. So anyway, it's just chock full of beautiful marbled papers, all different colors. So I picked that up. And then the last thing I got at Hobby Lobby was this uh, 12 by 12 paper pad. It's Paper Studio. It's called Newsworthy. It's 180 sheets, 60 designs, three each. Originally $19.99. I got it for $4.99. Now this is your, um, this is not cardstock. This is your thinner uh, paper. It's not copy paper. It's in between uh, copy paper and cardstock. But there's just some really cool, I'm just going to flip through this. There are some really cool designs in here. Um, there's some nature, some frogs, just saw a frog in my yard. Um, maps, ledger, this is like old retro TVs and turntables, stamps, those are really cool, bugs, more maps, uh, kind of steampunk. Some balloons and cameras and top hats and sewing machines. That's really cool. Anyway, and this one's cool with the 50s style fashion rulers. There's some abstract things in here. But anyway, this one I think would just be really nice in like maybe signature covers or backgrounds for different things. So that was my Hobby Lobby haul. All of this was like $18, so not bad at all. So I'm going to set this aside. Then I'll show you what I got yesterday at the quick discount scratch and dent store. Um, I picked up training pads. <laughs> Puppy pads. Um, I do not have puppies anymore. Not little ones. I have big puppies. But, um, yeah, old puppies. <laughs> so I picked up these training pads because I have discovered that these work really well when you're tea staining or coffee staining papers to lay the uh, papers on to absorb the um, what, whatever, you know, has not absorbed into the paper uh, that you're staining. So I like to use these. And they you can use one probably two or three times before you have actually have to throw it out. So... Um, and these are kind of expensive in the regular store, you know, if you look at them at Walmart or um, especially the pet stores. So I got 14 for $3, so that's well worth the, the money for me to get those. Um, I picked up a lot of stationery, office supplies. Um, this one here is a steno book. It's a 6x9, Greg ruled, 80 sheets, you know, your typical white steno book. It was only a quarter, and I have already given this one to my hubby, and he has started writing in it, So, but I wanted to show you the price on that, so I will hand this back to him. Thank you. You're on board. Okay, and then I also, I also picked up some bent nose pliers. I've been looking for some of these, and they're really expensive in Hobby Lobby and the craft stores, um, and Walmart might have these in a set but i didn't need a whole set this was the only style or whatever i was missing out of my uh, jewelry making supplies so i picked these up for a dollar i had been wanting just a regular stapler i have a little short one you know it's probably about an inch and a half long or something and then i have the really long one for uh, book binding and so forth but I did not have a regular one that also you can tack with. So I picked this up for, and it's a Boss Stitch brand. 
That's on this ring. Okay. So I picked this up for two dollars. Sorry about the noise. And then they had these. Let's go get this in frame. It is a pen and gear sketch diary, 70 sheets. You can create and insert your own cover. So it's got the clear uh, cover on top of the blue cover. It's eight and a half by 11 by the time you tear it out. It looks bigger than that to me though. But I guess because it has the perforation over here on the side. But this is really nice paper. This is the kind of paper I like to tea stain or whatever kind of staining I'm doing. So anyway, I, I plan on just taking the paper out of this and using this. But these were only a dollar each, so I got two of those. And I think Pen and Gear is a Walmart brand. Yes, Walmart. It's right down here. So I got two of those. Then I went ahead and picked up a couple of composition books. I know you can get these pretty much anywhere. Um, but these were only 50 cents each. They're 100 sheets, and they're, the, they're not the flimsy kind. They got a really thick cover, really nice paper on the inside. I might, and they're sewn in, so there's the middle right here. I might go ahead and take one of these apart and tea stain some of this paper. So I got two of these at 50 cents each. Then I caught my eye uh, kind of was this place is you, it's one of those kind of like A to Z where you have to dig through things. So anyway, uh, this caught my eye. It's a notebook. It says A9 at the top. I don't blue line is the brand, but I do not see any other. So it's made in Mexico. Oh, it's 192 pages there. There it is right there. So um, anyway, it is graph paper. The hubby wants to steal this one. Um, Mr. Walker wants to steal this one. So anyway, it's really nice graph paper. And I'm probably going to take this one apart. And I might give him a few pages. Um, but anyway, in the back, it's got some really cool stickers. It's got tab stickers and all kinds of cool stuff. So anyway, that one, and it's a really nice hardback chipboard cover. So it was a dollar. And then they had these legal size um, quill pads. So I picked one of these up. It was 50 cents. So I picked that up as well because I don't have any legal size yellow paper. Okay, I'll set these back over here. And then I spotted this on the floor. Hold on, I dropped something. Okay, I spotted this down on the floor in this bin with a bunch of other stuff. And it was $2 and I have no clue how many is on this roll. But look at all these tickets. Lots and lots of tickets. I did not have any tickets really. So... I think I'm stocked up now, but $2 for all of those. And then they had one of these. It was in a, again, in a bin mixed up with a bunch of other stuff. Uh, it says there's 50 sets, one part. 50 sets, one part, I don't know. Anyway, uh, guest checkbook for 50 cents, three and three eighths by seven inches. And yeah, these are the nice thick ones. And I didn't have any like this. I had some really old thin ones. But these are really cool. So I picked that up for 50 cents. Then I spotted this big stack of index cards. 300 count, 3 by 5 They are ruled. Uh, again, it's pin and gear, which is Walmart. But I don't care if they're ruled or not. I mean... We use ruled ones all the time in our journals and stuff, so that's no big deal. But 300 for 50 cents, so I couldn't pass those up. Um, they also had other uh, steno pads, different types. They have a, they a Staples brand for 50 cents, and it's the green colored paper. So I got that. They also had these nice big 
three and seven eighths by five and seven eighths post-it notes for a dollar. There's a hundred in the in the stack. So I got two of these. Um, one of them has already been opened and is sitting on our desk, our computer desk. So I thought that was a good deal. And then this one I just fell in love with. It is Ampad brand steno book. It's a six by nine. Greg ruled eighty sheets. Um, but it is purple. Probably on camera it looks more blue, but it is kind of a purplish, like a dusty purple color. And it's the pages are really nice and thick. It's not thin at all. So I picked that up, and we're probably going to go back and see if they get some more of these. This was only a quarter, 25 cents for this. Um, but I would like to go back, and they had a lot of them, so... We might go back a little maybe later today and pick a couple more of those up and i think that's it i can't believe usually i forget something so i can't believe that i uh i remembered everything but i did i remembered everything um what i've been working on uh i did make some envelopes out of book pages and like stuffed them with die cuts and I think I'm going to, um, hold on, I am going to include these in orders, you know, for someone orders for me. So this is just a book page out of a vintage floral um, book, one of those, oh yeah, the time, I came out of the Time Life Encyclopedia of Gardening books, I have three of these. I came out of those. So this is the envelope. What I did, it was just I just folded the top in and put a little notch at the bottom, and then I just sewed them around, and then I just did a little bit of embellishing on the flap, and then I stuffed them. Uh, three have embossed scallop circles stuffed inside of them, and three of them have two and a half inch no one and a half inch embossed tags inside of them so this is the tag one so i just took some of my off cuts from the last journals i made and made tags and i stuffed 25 tags and 25 circles in each one of them so there's that one just this one this one i did a little differently i made a a little tuck for the flap but again it's just book page from one of those books and this one also has embossed tags in it 25 of them oh, let me get it tucked back in okay and then this one this one i just did like this is the only one that has the tuck so it's just another beautiful book page with embossed tags So that's all the tag ones. Here's the scallop circle ones. This one I cut down a little bit. It's a beautiful vintage floral rose bouquet image. And so here's some of the scallops. These are papers, like I said, that were in my last journal. So I just used it, trying to use up my scraps. Separate another one Here's the front and some more scallop circles 25 again 25 circles 25 tags and then here's the last one beautiful purple image I don't know what kind of flower that is you got me and then some more scallop circles so that's one thing I worked on this week. Let me get these put back together real quick so I don't get them mixed up. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Okay. Um, I don't think so. I think that was that's pretty much all I've done. I did do a little bit of stamping on some muslin 
or some cotton and I'm going to be adding probably these two like some collaged index cards or something like that I haven't decided um, I did we use one of the butterflies on a collaged a fabric collaged index card that I made but it went to a customer so um, that's why that cutout is there so I plan on making some more of those and um, I guess the best thing I saved the best for last my hubby in his new toy uh, he made me a doggy bookmark paper clip isn't that cute it is so cute anyway and it works really well see that's kind of thick let me see let me unfold this so anyway, that is 3D printed. And so I just thought that was a really cute. He's made me he's made me several little gifts. But I think this is the cutest. So anyway, that's what's on my desk right now. <laughs> um, if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe. Hit that like button, hit that bell so you're notified when I post another video. And um, I hope y'all have a great day. God bless and talk to you later. Bye.